Hey everybody, this is Edger Joe and welcome to the second video in my series on um, coding with Python and specifically the bubble sort. As you can see in the previous video, video um, I showed you how the bubble sort method worked by comparing the first two items and then the next two and so on and so on until we've gone through um, the list once uh, and then we repeat that until we've gone through everything. But the computer does not know whether or not it's sorted unless we put some sort of a check in place. So what we will do is we'll use boolean values true and false to determine whether or not something has been checked in the list. So um, what we do is when we start a run we'll set or reset every time we start at the beginning we'll set the boolean value we're going to call it a flag and we're going to set the variables value um, to false when we start um, the run. You will see in the coding, we're going to set it to true and then change it to false at, at, the, um, at the start of the run. So let's set that for the first instance to false and then I'll show you how it works. So we start in the same way. We check the first two. If that one is higher than this one, which it is, we need to swap it. So we swap that and we change that um, flag from false to true. So that means that at least one swap has been made. Then we check the next two. That one is higher than that one, so we swap them. And because we have made at least one swap in our run before, we keep our flag at true. Then we look at the next two. Six is higher than five, so we swap them. And because we have made at least one swap in our run, we keep the flag at true. We look at those two. Six is higher than two, so we swap them. Because we have made at least one swap in our run, we keep that at true. And then we compare the last two, six is higher than four. And again, we check our flag, it's true. We keep it at true because we've made at least one swap in our run. That's the first run complete. But we, or the computer, is not sure whether or not this has been sorted um, because the flag is true. So we reset it, we put it back to false, and we start the process again. Now we're going to do the second run. Also notice how the six has bubbled all the way through to the higher, uh, to the right hand side. Now we start again. It's reset to false. This is in the right position. So there's no swap being made. And we keep our flag at false. We check the next two. It's in the right order. No swap has been made. So we keep that to false. We come to the next two. Five is uh, greater than two. So we make a swap. And we change our flag to true because one swap has been made. We check the next two, we swap those two, we keep our flag at true because at least one swap has been made um, in this run. And then we check five and six, um, that's in the right order. So we keep it at true because at least one swap has been made. But because our flag is true, so we've come to the last one, there's nothing to compare it with. So we see that our flag is true, so the computer is not sure or well, the program actually is not sure whether or not this is in order so we have to reset our flag to false and we start the process again so we reset it to false check those two it's in the right order we keep it at false check those two it's not in the right order we swap them and we change our flag to true check the next two they're in the right order but because we've made at least one swap already in the run we keep it at true we look at um, 4 and 5, it's in the right order, but because we already made one swap in this run, we keep the flag at true. We check 5 and 6, uh, it's in the right order, but because we have made one swap at least in this run, we keep our flag at true. There's nothing to compare the last item with. Um, because our flag is true, the program is not sure whether or not this is sorted, although we can see with the human eye it is, the computer program doesn't know that yet. So we reset this to false and we start our run again. And if this can be false all the way through, then we know it has been sorted. So we check the first two, it's in the right order, so it stays false. We check the next two, it's in the right order, our flag stays false. We check, we check the next two, it's in the right order, flag stays false. We check the next two items, it's in the right order, f uh, the flag stays false. We check the next two, it's in the right order, the flag stays false. Because there is nothing to compare the last item with, we go to the flag, we see it's false, so that means nothing has been swapped in this run, and therefore we know that our list is in order. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and that's how the flag works with a boolean values true and false in a bubble sort. In the next video we will start to code this so you can see exactly how to do this um, using Python. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.